artificial intelligence for automobiles um, or manufacturing is um, something which is a jargon right now but um, data sciences has always been there with the manufacturing organizations and the kind of work in this space which has happened almost about um, when Gottlieb Daimler um, invented automobiles um, engineering has always been evolving and the kind of money which has been poured in into R&D and the innovations uh, going forward data has always been there my talk specifically focuses around um, taking the hype out of the artificial intelligence when we talk about just autonomous driving and self-driving cars it actually focuses about the complex engineering areas of automotives where um, there is still a lot of depth required in terms of mathematics statistics artificial intelligence and utilization of data science on a proper level um, there are extremely less niche players in this market um, even um, there are extremely less startups who work in this area but there is a good amount of domain knowledge which is required into the space as well as people who can focus completely to develop solutions from complex environments um, fintech has been there for the last five years i think then when professor andrew ng has taken up the landing.ai and the work um, around this area if you name it around nano degree programs and so on and forth there is a lot of work in this space i would focus on um, where nissan digital is coming into this picture um, in nissan automotives how are we going to shape it up as you know nissan is the pioneer in um, in the electric segment though not in india but overall when we con talk about connected plants connected vehicles smart mobility and so on and so forth there is a huge amount of space which is a gap um, we would encourage through the talk try to encourage through the talk um, the community of the analytics space who is coming here to ca come into the engineering space and uh, do some marvels in the space i hit the um, i am the global vice president for the data sciences um, for the Nissan and that's what you can hear is the fact that um, um, we from the from the CXO bench in the uh, in the Nissan um, world we are looking at and from the leadership level as well we are looking at data as a global culture and that has to come into the manufacturing as a depth so we're just starting it up um, starting from our plant base in Yokohama to 56 plants all, all over the globe and increasing and setting up uh, digital plants we are we are we are setting up almost about three to four thousand uh, member organization um, engineering or um, digital hub in Trivandrum and then we would be scaling at, uh, it up to San Francisco um, um, and then Palo Alto Bay Area Mexico Paris um, and Yokohama as well so um, the word of data science is spreading across the sun how can the utilization be and that's why probably um, people like me are appointed as leaders who can take this journey forward from a regional level to a global upscale level and that's how data is so much in the focus <laughs> engineering has always been separate from um, from a no lot of other verticals for example fintech has been comparatively quite quite open in the world because of being a public uh, measure right but when you talk about um, when you talk about cars when you talk about engineering space complex automotives it um, it always boils down boils down to multiple areas in terms of we always know about the self driving cars autonomous driving it's quite famous i don't know to name it but areas for example cat cam designing um, computer aided designing and so on and so forth physics uh, physics and mathematics has been primarily into the engineering domain so um, data science has been getting deeply into it for example you calibrate machines you calibrate engine behaviors how um, i can i can utilize the way that you drive to go to the insurance providers and give them the support on how you use your driving patterns so you might end up paying extremely less premium as compared to what you have been paying right now because today we are all flat we play we pay insurance premium at a flat rate so whatever vehicle that you drive if it is an suv you have to play pay a flat premium maybe the bonus we don't we are not even bothered about right if there is just the insurance regulators who control that there is a time coming in when your driving pattern is going to tell how your insurance premium is going to be that is one 
how is your interiors going to be how can you utilize your hands and fingers without even um, without even touching anything with your gestures to um, to flip side your interiors of the car so and that's not only all so, uh, from the um, uh, commercial standpoint there is a lot of um, work which is happening around to mobilize the big load vehicles right so um, engineering has a lot of scope people have started working on it people are thinking into it it started from self driving cars in the next 5 to 10 years i see a huge amount of growth and the work around data in this space first of all um, to bhaskar and the cypher team it's it's been an amazing journey throughout um, i have been hearing um, about it lot um, didn't get an opportunity last year to be part of it but it's an honor to be part of here and uh, especially um, talking to people in the same community people think on the same lines because most of the times you are you are either um, either into the ball game of looking at benefits and cost and so on and so forth but this is a place where it becomes the mecca for analytics and people think through people people um, people get into the space indulge into the discussions and try to be as creative as possible try to converse and try to challenge themselves because this is the place where you where each other can challenge it themselves and i think cypher and the team it's a great work going in as i say um the journey that you have started 3 4 years back um i guess it's going to continue and i wish everybody a best of luck